guys, Jen here. I am making soap. Uh, if you hear my sister talk here and there now, uh, it's because she's in the shop working. Um, I am actually, this is like my second YouTube video in the new shop. We've been here a month. I just literally have not had time to make soap. I have a whole set order. I'm going to move you guys because I'm going to try to adjust the camera higher with a better view. Let's see what we can get here. Uh oh, hold on. Let's see. What is it? Okay, I video on now. I just figured I'd tell you. All right, look at there, guys. Ooh. Let's see. Is that good? I don't know. Ooh, there we go. How about that? Yeah. Okay. So I'm using my hot lye water, of course, to melt my oils, probably from uh, the name of the video. You guys know we're going to be making some cupcake soaps. So, any who's it? I really, like, I've not tested having you guys on the same work surface. I don't know how well the video stabilization is um, on the camcorder versus my phone. The phone stabilization is terrible. But I don't know if the camcorder's any better. I hope so. Oh, goodness. Hold on, guys. I need to get my stick blender. Okay. So, I am going to mix up my additives in my liquid oils. I'm going to get this. Few chunks mixed up. seen I've been doing a lot of live videos lately. This is my first second soaping video. Like I hope that that's not shaking you all to pieces. I don't know how the stabilization is on that thing. Let's hope it's good and it doesn't shake them all to pieces. I won't know until I run my stick blender. Well I really won't be able to tell until after I go to edit the video. But we want bright, fun colors. So I think I'm going to do a neon pink and the neon bikini blue. You can take the whole thing from Be Scented. Oh, goodness, you might be on camera. <laughs> she doesn't like to be on camera. And then some white. I think I'm going to do the blue bottoms. Or you know what? Maybe I'm going to do blue and purple because my embeds are blue and purple. You know that only makes sense, common sense, Jim. <laughs> I'm going to pour off for my base. I think I want to do them blue. I may have to add a little bit more. This is my first, well, my second time using these, uh, this color. I used it the first time. Um, when I made the embeds. Uh oh, my phone is dinging. Hold on guys. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of fragrance. I'm gonna blend this in and we're gonna need to pour. Well, that's a really pretty collar. All right. Gonna give it a stir. I didn't stick blend much because 
We're doing cupcakes here. I don't want to accelerate anything. All right, let's get my cupcake bases. I love the new workshop. I have a ton of space and it's like quite amazing. Gonna grab this that's running down the side real quick before I make a royal mess. I have to mix up a little bit more. That's okay. I can do that. And I'm going to don't need a whole lot. Start out with that. Add a little bit, just a tiny amount of fragrance, then our color. Gonna see if I can hand stir the color in, but it is um it's a neon, so it may need to be stick blended. Sometimes they don't hand stir like a mic like a mica will. Yeah, I can see that this is going to have to be blended. So, I scrape my spatula. Oh. All right. Hopefully, I have enough for these. I think I will once I scrape this out. Alright guys, sorry if my arm's in your way. Alright. All right, guys, that is my phone. I gotta check it and make sure it's not the kid's school or anything. So give me just a second and I'll be back. Okay, so for the frosting, I am going to do white and purple. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm going to get some fresh containers here I'm just going to divide this between these two. And my sister has never seen me make cupcakes. Oops. Have you ever seen me make cupcakes? No. No? I'm making a video. Like what? A video. Oh, I'll stay on <laughs> Tish is in the other room. I just figured I'd tell you. <laughs> Right. The only thing about making soap in a shop, guys, is that people stop by. <laughs> so, that's something different we got to get used to. And it makes a little bit, little, little, little hard when we're making soap, but it's okay. I'm just getting my titanium dioxide mixed up. 
Now we're going to divide our fragrance. Once I get these. All right, guys, I'll pause you. We'll come back when this is ready. Okay, guys, I'm going to fill up my piping bags here. And we're going to do, you know, two colors. The white is a little bit thinner than the purple. But I think it'll be okay. My sister's watch coming to watch. And I just put one color on one side, one color on the other. And if I just have a single color, then I don't care about filling the piping bag back up. But when there's two colors in there, if I have two of the same piping tips, that I'm going to be using, then I do two bags. That way, I don't mess anything up. Like, I don't mess up my design I have planned. Oops. Are you peeking? Yeah, they can see me. They're really interested in the piping anyways. <laughs> they can care less what I'm doing right now. They would have probably rather me fast forward it to get on whoops, get on with it. I'm a messy soaper. Mm -hmm. I can't help it. That's why I don't when the kids would come in I'm like back up. Noah, when he was little, he'd be like, will it burn? I'm like, mm -hmm. yes. Back up. Because he wanted to see what I was doing. Mm -hmm. You can always tell if your piping is too runny. If, um, when you pull it up out of the bag, if it runs right back to the nozzle really quickly. But it's not. And, this is what you do to get your colors coming out right. It may not be ready. It's falling over. We'll wait. We'll wait. Okay, guys. I tested one. I like the wrinkles. Yeah. And it's ready to go. You have to make sure your piping bag is up and down, constant straight, always. If not, it won't lay right. And that's not pretty. Mm -hmm. Gotta take your time. Piping is not the easiest, but if you take your time, because I have people like, how do you get your piping so high? I know. Practice. All right, I'm going to switch bags. I always make extra. She only ordered 12. So I'll have extras for my website if they turn out. All right now, purple. It's coming slowly. Here it comes.
This is how I do the rainbow ones as well. When I do the rainbow cupcakes, mm. the same way. Cause, but there's six colors coming out. Wow. Yeah, they're, pain. they're very time consuming. She'll be able to get it between these two. <laughs> if it's never that, if one of them's not pretty, you know, of course, that's the one I keep. the main reasons I've not done videos here. I don't ever know when Tom, Dick, or Harry's going to walk in the door. <laughs> you know? What you doing in here? Right? <laughs> no, we have lots of people walk in randomly, don't we? Mm -hmm. Not check and see if y'all can see. Sorry. Let's just pray these make it. Everybody got one? Now it's time for glitter. Because glitter is your friend. Or it is when you make soap. The fairy dust. Alright, guys, I'll bring you back when I unmold these. Alright guys, we're back to unmold these, and I'm really loving the color combination. Very sea me. So I'll just put them back here as I unmold these. Got a little bit of soda ash, but I don't worry with it. Very nice. I'm very happy with these. have to be very careful with the tails. They can break easily. I'm hoping they ship okay. We shall find out, huh? I think if I lay, when I, once I bubble wrap them, if I lay them like this during shipping, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. Alright guys, I'll give you guys a close up of one more before I let you go. We'll catch you later.